Blender 1.5. I say, no. This is the first manual that Ton Rosendahl released. Rosendahl from uh, Not a Number, which was the company he formed aside from Neo Geo. He left Neo Geo and he started his own company called Not a Number. And, uh, I had started with Blender on 1.18, and it was not that I was just starting to do 3D graphics. I had already done um, uh, three years of using a package called Wavefront TAV uh, from 95 to 98, um, and uh, I dropped the package because the company that made it decided we're not going to sell any more licenses of this. You're going to use Maya uh, once it comes out. And uh, the reason why Maya exists is because uh, Microsoft is. Microsoft bought up Softimage to enter the 3D industry. SGI was afraid of Microsoft because Microsoft has a history of destroying industries. They don't make them better. They come in, they destroy everyone, they rape and pillage everything. They um, come in and if the technology doesn't do it for them, if it doesn't get them money or makes them money, they leave it. And what's left is desolation. There's like nothing there. Um, and SGI could foresee this happening to their technology if Microsoft entered the space. Um, and even Microsoft even was gonna do a deal with SGI to develop a piece of hardware that would fit work with Windows and uh, SGI, you know, being the way management is, they, when they see something that looks like that'd be beneficial to them, they partner with it. And uh, Microsoft's one of their ways of ruining people is, is to give you the idea, the pipe dream that they're going to work with you on something whenever on, on the back end, they're, they're gonna develop something that's gonna compete with whatever it is that you're working on and they're going to do you out, they're going to do you in. Um, so SGI, that was kind of the mistake SGI made. One of the mistakes that SGI made was they made their hardware too um, expensive. And uh, they would always push the idea that consumers could afford a $5,000 workstation and a $5,000 uh, software package as long as they got um, um, a scholarship that if they could get the scholarships they could create they could get their own uh, uh, environment and but you know it it was Microsoft's and the game industry that really pushed the idea of people having access to good graphics cards they aren't really all that good they don't have um, the the one reason why some people stuck with SGI was because of good GPUs um, uh, the the processing for 3D graphics on PC platform is done by the CPU and the GPUs are um, just are just kind of the canvas that's where the 3D objects end up um, but the transformations are done in the processor on the CPU rather than in the GPU um, I guess now they're probably more done in the in the hardware um, but I've been told that, uh, it's really just kind of a cache of triangles and, and, uh, what's really in the hardware is texture units, shaders, and things like that. The reason why there's shaders now in hardware is because of guy, uh, that created BMRT, Blue Moon Render, uh, Rendering Tools, uh, which was, uh, a render man, uh, emulator, um, you could do render man stuff with he um got in trouble with pixar um they settled out of court or something and he then went to work for nvidia and developed um the shader 
technology that uh, NVIDIA was pushing. And uh, it's probably the reason why we've got shaders in hardware now um, is because of that. But, um, and uh, Toy Story was done uh, with without ray tracing. It uses nothing but shaders. And shaders are just, it's just a, a creative way of um, coloring stuff. That's what a shader is. It's a creative way of coloring pixels. Um, and it uses a bunch of tools, of mathematical tools, like uh, dot products and cross products and um, uh, fong shading and you know shade, the methods of shading surfaces uh, to come up with uh, a way of coloring the surfaces of objects to make them look real um, based upon um, just creative coloring is what it is. And that's what shading is. And uh, whereas ray tracing is trying to simulate the way light works, but it does it backwards. It starts with eye rays and finding lights because if you do it the opposite direction, it's too computationally intensive. So it isn't, it doesn't model reality. And Tun kind of knew this, I think, and said, well, you don't really want ray trace. If you want to, something to, to um, if you want to be able to do animation fast, you're going to do it with rendering or, or with very basic fong shading or um, grow shading and like nothing, nothing complex. Uh, it, his shading, the shading that he does now uh, didn't come about until somebody decided to use them. Um, um, I'm trying to remember the name of the, uh, the software. Um, if I can remember it, if I go to Blender and look for it. Uh, but being an older person, you always forget things. Um, what's it? It's cycles. Yeah, it's cycles. So it was because of cycles that uh, um, that Blender has uh, really real shaders in it right now, and. Uh, People used to go gaga over aliases, um, power animator, whenever they see glowing things, glowing lights, and they would think, oh, wow, it's doing volumetrics. No, it was doing post-production on top of the ray tracing. It would it would uh, come in afterward and add a glow on top of a light. That was how they did um, those effects. And it, it used to freak people out, you know, hey, I could do all sorts of lens flares and stuff with... Uh, with uh, alias and those are not 2d effects they're not 3d effects um and ton also saw this and say well i can do that too and he has a, a shader he has a rendering pipeline where you can put in glow effects on top of things um but now he's also got cloth simulation hair simulation he's got uh, uh fourth uh generation um modeling in there now um fourth generation is uh um use of stacks um use of uh you know the sort of things that you use in houdini houdini is like the ultimate at this sort of thing um 3d studio max uses a uses a modeling stack um blender now uses that kind of technology um and uh, in Maya, you use Mel, use a, its own proprietary language for doing, uh, for uh, programming uh, uh, objects to work a certain way, rigging, dynamic rigging, all that stuff. Um, but you can do it in Blender, you can do it with Python, and it just requires knowing Python, which is a, a phenomenal uh, scripting language um but the thing that the thing is is that blender is going to be around a lot longer than any of these other commercial packages and that's just the way the cookie crumbles to people um if you want to uh, and blender isn't the, the greatest it is the fire beneath the asses of everyone in the industry if you can't do it 
if you can't do it like Blender can do it, you might as well not be in the 3D industry. And I knew this from the very beginning. I knew that uh, if Blender got support and it was an open source, um, it would be it would light the asses of every software developer in the industry. They can't compete with free, you know. And Tun knows is this, and th this is the mantra that I was pushing to Tun: if if Blender is free and is open source, if it is there. Um, it doesn't matter how good a package it is, just as long as it's good enough to do what you can do in the industry, it's going to push the quality of the technology that's in the industry up because the software developers can't sit on their asses anymore. They can't sit there and, and uh, pretend that uh, there isn't any better way than their way. Um, the other thing, that the reason why... Blender is so key to this, is that uh, it's different how it's different. Commercial software is developed for other people. F open source software is developed for yourself. You develop for yourself. You develop to do in-house stuff. Uh, and if you do stuff in-house, you can make really great software. Um, that's how Pixar sells their render man, is it's, that's their in-house software. And it does really well because of that, that it was developed for in-house use. Um, but whenever you develop for other people, it, you lose touch with reality. You lose touch with what is needed. It's what's needed 